There we go, there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it, man. Just hitting rocks, making that big money super easily. 15k in a very, very short amount of time. I'm gonna pick that up. And yeah, we're, we're good to go, man. I'm almost even at max money in my pockets out here, dude. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is gonna showcase exactly how to make thousands of bells very very quickly in the game arguably the fastest way as of right now now this method is very simple and all of you guys can do it once per day so catch me on this one it's going to be the money rock tutorial now with money rocks you can get thousands of bells just by hitting one and i'll show you guys exactly what you need to do so thanks so much for coming on to the video if you guys have not seen the rest of the tips and tricks tutorial videos there is going to be a link in the description below and if you enjoy live streams and full-on let's play series definitely watch mine all right so you're going to need a couple things right off the bat you are going to need some shovels now as you guys can see we've got some flimsy shovels here this is absolutely going to work fine you can indeed use a regular shovel anything to hit a rock with I haven't messed around and tested to see whether or not axes can work, but I'm just going to go with shovel because I'm old school ever since the first generation of Animal Crossing. Now, if you guys are curious as to how to go about getting a flimsy shovel DIY recipe, you're going to need to catch at least five bugs or fish, donate that over to Tom Nook, and then he'll give you access to blathers. Don't tempt me, you little present. Not now. Anyway, you'll have access to blathers by donating the five species, and then once you have that, blathers will set up tent, and then once you talk to him the next day, he'll give you the recipe for the shovel. Now, the shovel requires hard wood, and the only way that you can get hard wood in the game is using an axe, which you got the recipe from Tom Nook, and then slamming away at any of these trees. Now, don't worry if any of the trees drop um, a different color wood. You're looking for the dark wood for this one. So anyway, as you guys can see over here, there's one of the dark wood, there's two of the dark wood. We're going to need exactly that in order to craft our shovel. All right, so now that we've got a brand new shovel in our inventory, we want to make sure that we bring that on board to all of our potential rocks in town. And I'll show you guys some tricks along the way. So the reason why I say make a brand new shovel is because the last thing that you want to do is to be hitting this thing, this rock, and then your shovel breaks in the middle of it. You don't want that to happen. So make sure you have a fresh one. All right, so I'm going to use the uh, the stronger one. Flimsy works, but I'm going to use a stronger one right over here. Now, it takes a lot of time to go through your entire town and find out exactly where your money rocks are located. Now, each of these rocks has a potential of being the one. So you have to go over and take a look at your map. And I would say, if you have time, find out where the rocks are, go over here to map, and then maybe write it down on a piece of paper. So I know that there's a rock right over here in E2. I know there's absolutely one rock there. I can also tell you that there's one over in E4. There's probably one over in, I think, C5. You can make a list of where all of yours are at. Unfortunately, there's no pinning system in the game. So that's kind of how things work. Anyway, now that you have your entire rock over this way, you're going to want to dig in two different spots so that you have some sort of backing that allows you to hold yourself from moving back because it's all about timing whenever you hit these money rocks now you'll notice over here that i slapped a print on the floor now i slapped a print on the floor so it's a little bit easier for me to see exactly where i need to dig my little empty backing spots and the way that you put prints on the floor is simply by going to designs and you can pick and choose um, any one of your designs right over here custom design and then any of these you can click on it and then display on the ground and you're all set so now that we have our brand new shovel, we have marked one of our potential money rocks, we're going to go diagonal towards it so that when you hit it, you're not going to be pushed back. So all you need are two holes. And then, then you slam the A button. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, this is definitely not a money rock, but these items are indeed going to be very helpful for us, especially because we need as many of these little um, iron pieces in order to make Timmy and Tommy's shop even bigger. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here. I'm gonna keep on um, hitting this in order to get the most ore out of it. And you know what, if we get ore, that's perfectly fine. I honestly don't mind because we need it. So here we go. And let's see what we got. So this is not going to be it. Dang, dude, we're having pretty bad luck. But hey, you know what, it's fine. Because we need all this stuff. And then ladies and gents, we are on board with this. One, okay, definitely not it. Okay, so that's our fourth attempt at one, yikes. 
So our fourth attempt at one was not fruitful at all, but our fifth one definitely has I to know for a fact that this one is indeed gonna be the big old money rock. Huh. Jump over, we're perfectly ready. Here we go. Ladies and gents, money is coming out. Now you need to spam this A button as fast as you can because there's a timer as soon as you hit the very first one. If you don't get the entire circle around this money rock, you haven't pressed the A button fast enough. And as you guys can see, we've got a bag of 8,000 bells. We've got a bag of 4,000 bells, which is a total of 12,000. Add this one right over here for another 2,000. So 14,000 total. And right on board is 15,000. Awesome. Plus this chump change, which is 100 bells, 100 bells, 200 bells, and 500 bells. So over, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of bells, man. Big money for all of that good stuff. So now we got that, right? So what else do we do? Well, that's pretty simple. All you have to do now is continue about your day. That's how you're gonna make a big and easy, at least 15K, just by doing that, finding your money rock. How easy is that, right? It's super easy. Now, you can get lucky, you can get it on your first try, you can get it on your fifth try if you're really unlucky. But nonetheless, we've got the money for it, which is absolutely amazing. So there's really only one thing that we need to do now. And this is going to be up to you guys. You guys can stop watching the tutorial video and have at it and then continue about your day. Or you can say, hey, you know, what happens if I want a little bit more money? Hmm, interesting. You got, some of you guys can see where this is going. All right, here we go. So we're gonna save the game. Of course, we need to save. If we don't save, we're not going to get that money. So keep that in mind. All right, so now that that's here, we are going to do something very, I don't know, controversial. Some people might not like it. Some people might like it. It really doesn't matter. Everyone plays Animal Crossing differently. So we're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna go over here to uh, closing this. We're gonna close Animal Crossing completely. We're gonna head on over to system settings and we're going to change the date forward one day. Now, some of you guys have other games in mind that specifically don't play or bode well with changing the in-game system clock. I.e., I know Snack World, for example, if you guys play Snack World, um, they limit the things that you can do if you mess around with the system settings. But those of you guys that play Pokemon Sword and Shield, you kind of mess around with the dates in order to manipulate, you know, what may show up in a den. So this is kind of the same thing. And Animal Crossing is no different. It's been available since the dawn of time with the first Animal Crossing where you can adjust the date and time in order to keep on playing. And uh, yeah, so that's, it's in the game, right? One might argue that it's not in Animal Crossing New Horizons because Isabella doesn't ask you about it. But either way, for demonstration purposes, you guys can absolutely do this. So now that we changed our date forward one day, we are going to have all new fossils on our floors. We're going to have all new everything available. New fossils. You can dig those up real quick. Um, you're going to have new happenings in your town. Tom Nook's out here. It's raining. All right. That's really great. Um... As you guys can see, March 22nd, today's news, the A-Nation Museum is available. So like, if you know that there's some things in town, you can absolutely change the day forward one, and you're not gonna be penalized for it at all. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not going to break your save file or anything like that. It's just gonna speed up so that you can enjoy the game even more. Because I played through the first like three hours, two hours of day one, and it got kind of boring, right? We kind of did everything. So let's change it a day forward and let's see exactly what's going on. All right, so as you guys can see over here, I am ready to go. Uh, we do have our mail available and I've got all of this stuff right over here. So I'm gonna go grab my shovel and we're gonna go on the hunt. We're gonna go on the hunt for a brand new money rock. So we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did before and hopefully we can get another 15,000 bucks. So we're gonna come over here, diagonals. And again, it's not anything that we need, but we'll take the iron ore because we need that iron ore for Timmy and Tommy uh, and it doesn't hurt to collect all this stuff, so. Not really sure what we're gonna do with clay, but either way. Okay, so here we go. What's behind rock number two? Oh, that's the money rock on our second try. Here we go, baby. Let's go. One, two, three, and last one for 8,000, baby. Okay, so there we have it. 8,000, 4,000, 12. Here's 13. And of course, 14, 15. 15,000 and chump change. We're good, man. We are absolutely good. 
Look at that. Our money is just skyrocketing right now. And we're all set and ready to go. I love it. So thunderstorms happening. We're good. We can uh, quickly do a, a walkthrough of our entire town. And once our walkthrough of our town is done, oh, that's a snail. Once our walkthrough of our town is done, we can indeed do the exact same thing. Rinse and repeat, adjust in the day, and then keep on going. Oh, dang, gold nugget? Yeah, dude. There we go, there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it, man. Just hitting rocks, making that big money super easily. 15K in a very, very short amount of time. I'm gonna pick that up. And yeah, we're, we're good to go, man. I'm almost even at max money in my pockets out here, dude. All right, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the tutorial video. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thought it was really fun. Um, hopefully, this helps you out. Let me know in the comments. Money Rock is an awesome method. Do you guys have a better method? Let me know in the comment section below. But that is going to be it for the tutorial. Hopefully, you guys watch it, and it does, uh, does help out. Definitely pay those loans off. I'm going to be working on it, man. I'm totally going to be working it. Anyway... Thank you for being here. If you guys didn't already subscribe, make sure you guys do so. It's super simple and it's absolutely free. You guys can indeed join the channel if you want and join our Discord. That's also free. We've got tons of people talking about Animal Crossing, trading items, trading native fruits, fossils, etc. You name it, it's happening over there. So join it. And of course, you guys are all super awesome. Thanks for being here. Uh, if this video helped you out, be sure to share it with a friend so that they know exactly how to make some money. And we'll go from there. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.